As I am recording this, the Phoenix Suns currently have the best record in the NBA, with a record of 30-8. They are at the same level and if not better than the Golden State Warriors. Now, it was expected that the Suns would be very good this season, but still, they managed to exceed these expectations, and in today's video, I am going to be going over a little bit about the Phoenix Suns team and give three reasons why the Suns are playing so well. So, let's get right into it. First, I am going to take a look at the Suns team statistically. On offense, they are elite and are ranked third in the league only behind Charlotte and Utah in points per game. They're averaging about 112 points a game. They are ranked fifth in defense, allowing only 104 points a game, which is just behind the Miami Heat by a very small margin. They are fourth in the league in assists. Because the Suns obviously have a great chemistry and a good system in place that encourages ball movement. They are third in field goal percent and fifth in three point percent. Finally, they are sixth in the league in steals. So that is the Phoenix Suns team statistically, and you can see how they are above average in pretty much every category. And now I will briefly go over some of the Suns players' individual stats. They are a very deep team and I can't go too in depth about their whole team, so I will just go in depth about their starting five. The first player is Chris Paul. Chris Paul is currently averaging 14 points, 4 rebounds and 10 assists per game, all while shooting 48% from the field and 32% from 3, and on top of it he's averaging almost 2 steals a game. Chris Paul has once again been amazing for the Suns this year. He has been the heart and soul for this young team and, has, and his mentorship is starting to rub off on the squad. He is the facilitator that runs the offense, draws the double team, and finds the open guy or finds a way to create his own shot. He has the ability to create something out of nothing. He is just overall a very smart player and even though he is only averaging 14 points a game, he is much more valuable than scoring because he has a great all-around game. The next player is Devin Booker. Booker is averaging 23.5 points a game, 5 rebounds and only 1 assist a game and is shooting 44% from the field and 40% from 3. Booker is really known for only scoring from anywhere and creating his own shot, but hey, it works. His scoring constantly seems to get better every year and these past couple of seasons he has shown that he isn't just an empty stat player and he shows that he can play winning basketball with the right team around him which starts with Chris Paul. Overall, great season for Devin Booker. Next up is Mikhail Bridges. Bridges is averaging 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. Not very good stats on paper, but Mikhail is a player where the stats don't even remotely show how good he is. He's an amazing defender, averaging almost 1.5 steals a game, and overall he is just an amazing versatile 3 and D wing. He's very efficient, shooting 51% from the field and 40% from 3. I know I just said this, but I can't express how good a defense he is. He is easily the team's best defender and can guard positions 1 through 5. Overall, not very good stats on paper, but he has a, been a very important to the Suns team. Moving on to Jay Crowder, the quote unquote wheat link of the starting 5. There isn't really much to say about Crowder as he is putting up about 9 points, 5 rebounds and 1 assist, and about a steal per game as well. He's kinda just there to help space the floor and shoot open 3's and he does that at a relatively high level so I can't complain about Jay Crowder. And the final player in this starting lineup is DeAndre Aiden. If you guys watch the channel you will see that I have a lot of respect for Aiden and I truly believe that he is a great player. This season he is putting up 17 points and 11 rebounds with about, uh, about a steal and a block per game. Aiden has proved the past couple seasons why he is truly not a bust. He is very aggressive and amazing rebounder and has a great post game on offense. He is a great screener and is a constant lob threat. Great season for DeAndre as he has played his role spectacularly this season. And some other notable players for the Phoenix Suns are Cameron Payne, Cam Johnson, JaVale McGee, Landry Shamit, Jalen Smith, and Bismack Biombo. Also, we can't forget about Monty Williams, who is a top 3 coach for sure this season. Now that I've talked about the Suns team, both individually and as a team, I will now go over the reasons why they are so good. From what I see, I've noticed three main reasons as to why they're so good this season. Now, obviously they were projected to be very good this season because they just came off a finals appearance, but I think they're actually performing above expectations. So now, here are my three reasons. The first reason is depth. Now, the first two reasons do kind of tie into each other. And basically what depth means is it means the Suns have a very deep team. They have many great players coming off their bench, taking the load off their star players. Now a lot of teams do have a great bench and I would say that the Phoenix Suns have one of the best benches out there. They have lots of productive players off the bench like Cameron Payne, Cam Johnson, JaVale McGee. 
And overall, they are a very deep team, and you do not have to rely on the star players to do everything in order for a win, which really helps with turn in terms of rest and all those other things. And this next reason kind of ties into the first reason. It is every single player is playing well. Every single player from their starting point guard to their 10th man in the rotation, everyone is playing well and they're all playing their role and they're all being very productive. There isn't necessarily a madly disappointing player on the Suns team this season and everybody's playing up to expectations which is amazing when you need to beat some of the most consistent teams in the league like the Bulls. You don't have to worry about the bench having a great game one day and a bad game another because everyone is playing well and everyone is playing consistent and there's not a single disappointing player on the Suns team this season. And the final reason is actually the reason why I wanted to make this video and it is the Phoenix Suns usage of their big men. Just a brief overview of what that is, it means the Phoenix Suns, their starting center, their secondary center, their third string center, and even like their fourth or fifth string center, they're all playing amazing and they're all benefiting this Phoenix Suns team. The way they sun, the Suns play, they have a lot of usage in terms of their big men and they really rely on their big men to do a lot on the floor and all of their centers have been performing well and they've been a big reason as to why they're so good. Taking a quick look at the Phoenix Sun centers, they have DeAndre Aiden, obviously, who's their starting center, JaVale McGee as their secondary, they have Bismack Biombo as their third string, and they also have Jalen Smith as like a backup center in case any of these centers get injured. When you take a look at those three centers, they all pretty much have the same play style. They are very aggressive defenders and always look to contest shots. They are crazy good and physical rebounders, and on the offensive end of the ball, they always know how to set screens for their guards and run to the basket to get the lob or get an offensive rebound to keep the play alive. And when you're looking at this Phoenix Suns team, they have a lot of great guards like Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Cameron Payne, a lot of great point guards that can use some height to complement them. Chris Paul is the primary example. You give Chris Paul a great center or an average center that can set an effective screen, get some, create some separation because if Chris Paul's open, he's going to hit the shot. And even if he's, does, if he's not open, you'll have a trailing big man rolling right to the rim, which will create a easy two points. Not many NBA teams use their centers like the Suns use them anymore. Everybody's relying more on their guards, shooting threes, doing fancy handles. And nobody in the NBA seems to appreciate the big man game like the Suns do. Like I just said, they're getting a lot of usage out of the pick and roll, getting a lot of offensive rebounds, keeping the play alive, and just overall, all of their centers being very productive this year are benefiting the Suns a lot. So those are my main three reasons as to why the Suns are playing so good this season. Depth, everybody's playing well, and their usage of big men. That is going to wrap up my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 250 subscribers by June 16th, 2022. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.